Hey everyone, welcome to this class's first tutorial. In this tutorial, I just want to show you how to install a plugin for Photoshop that's going to help us use composition as a tool while we're creating images. So in the Creative Cloud desktop app, making sure that you're logged into your account, I'd like you to go over here to Marketplace. And um, under this search bar, just write in composition. Now there uh, are a couple different composition grid plugins. Um, I've tried both of them and I think that this one is the one that's probably gonna work for most people. It seems to be more updated um, according to the most recent version of Creative Cloud. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click install. So now it says it's been installed, find it in the plugins menu. So I'm going to open up my Photoshop and see if it's there. All right, so I'm just going to uh, create a new file and I will make it um, a, an A4 size landscape orientation file. It's not a big deal. We're just uh, making this file to look at the composition grid. So I'll go create. And you see right away that this plugin has shown up on the side of my toolbar here and it's automatically docked. If yours hasn't uh, shown up, Look at your plugins icon over here in the toolbar or look at your plugins and go to plugins panel. That should bring it up um, on your screen and you should be able to see this composition grid. Okay, so I'm gonna just dock that again and go into the grid. And right here you see that all three of them are checked off. We have the rule of thirds, the golden ratio and dynamic symmetry. So I'm just going to um, put in the dynamic symmetry and uncheck the other ones and I'll go update grid. And you see it does a whole bunch of things, it's drawing a whole bunch of lines, and it is basically assessing the size of page that you currently are working in, and it is creating the correct ratio for this document. So you see everything lines up. So you can just kind of pop it over top of things while you're working so that you can double check to see if you're uh, aligning all of your elements accordingly to this grid. So if we wanna try a different one, let's try the rule of thirds and go update grid. Now we have the rule of thirds here and that's always helpful. Now we'll grab the golden ratio and go update grid. And here we have something that looks like the rule of thirds. It doesn't have that spiral in it. So um, how do we know that this is truly the golden ratio? Well, uh, I have provided a PNG file for you guys. And if I pop it in, even without doing anything, resizing, changing, you can see that the page has been divided according to the Fibonacci sequence. Now, the aspect ratio of the page that we're working on is not the same as the golden ratio itself. So an A4 size piece of paper has a ratio of about 1.414. The golden ratio is 1.618. You can decide if you wanna crop your page down to the aspect ratio of the golden circle or you can just use it as a compositional device. So um, I'll press enter to just uh, allow that to settle in. And if I just move this uh, PNG file so that it's um, bumping up against this grid, we can see that the grid is helpful for us because it actually does divide the surface of the page into the main regions of the Fibonacci sequence. So even if you don't want to use a PNG overlay, you can just use this golden ratio grid to help you compose elements. Now there's one other part of uh, Photoshop that you might be interested to know about, and that is that it, that it does have a, a built-in composition grid, but as far as I know, it's only accessed when cropping the document. So if I press C to access the crop tool, we don't see anything show up right now. I'm just going to click on ratio and then go back to original ratio. And you see that I have my, um, my crop tool set to the golden spiral. So you should see a little grid up here. Yours might look like this right now. This is the rule of thirds, of course. So if you're cropping a document, if you wanna analyze an old document, you just press the crop tool and go to original ratio. And then you should be able to see um, where these compositional grids kind of lie on your document. So there's also a grid there's the diagonals, there's the golden triangles, the golden ratio, and they also have the spiral. So you can always double check as to whether your document is kind of following these guidelines. 
Even if you've deleted your um, compositional grid layers here, you can always double check it at the end when you're cropping. But this doesn't really help us while we're composing our elements. It only helps us when we're finished composing to analyze them if we're cropping. So I would suggest that you do install this plugin, the composition grid, and also, um, and also download the PNG files that I supplied if you would like to use those as well.